to today's vlog. Today I'm heading into Manchester city centre. I live close to Manchester but I don't drive there because parking is always ridiculously priced. Today we're gonna go train, we're gonna eat some healthy food, we're just gonna have a fun day and today I'm off work and then I'm back in for the next two days. This is something that I like to do on my days off. Some people like to go shopping on the days off. I like to train, I like to explore cities and find healthy cafes. The other thing that I wanted to quickly say is that if you are with your gym at the minute, then you can actually use any gym in the country. I think that applies to every pure gym member. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that it does. It's Monday, the 23rd of July, and it's 10 to 11. I've already had breakfast, I've got this amino energy, which is delicious by the way. So we're just going to get on with the day, I'm going to show you guys a bit of Manchester, I'm going to show you guys the food, and I'm probably going to show you guys a workout as well, because I'm training legs today. So let's go on with the video, let's go and have some fun.
So I've just finished training in Pure Gym, Manchester City Centre. It's a new gym for me, I've never stepped foot in this gym before. So it was a little bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Filming footage is a little bit embarrassing anyway. But I just thought, you know what, like I'm not gonna let bother me, I'm not gonna let people watching me bother me. There's a lot of things that scare me. Vlogging in public is one of those things, but I'm doing it for a reason. I enjoy it and I just wanna accept it for what it is and accept that I have to do these things to make the content and to create the content. Even, and if I'm too scared to get my camera out in the gym and film the content that I need to film then I'm never going to get anywhere, I'm never going to progress with what I want to do. The footage of the workout is a little bit rusty because when I'm filming I get a bit like anxious of like the camera being in the middle of the floor and it might be in people's way and people might want to reach that way and want to have to go round it and I don't want to be an inconvenience to people so like I always rush the sets because I'm like oh, I need to get it done straight away. So. I get so scared when I think somebody's gonna come in. But anyway, yeah, I'm actually gonna go and find somewhere to have lunch now. I've already had breakfast this morning, but that was ages ago. And now it's 20 past one. I feel like I had breakfast at like nine. It's been a long time. I'm really hungry. vegan shake from Joe and the Juice and I've always wanted to try one. There is one in Liverpool but I've never tried it so I tried it today. Um, it was like a protein shake and it had vegan protein powder in. It wasn't the nicest. It tasted nice but I think it was more because of the vegan protein made it a little bit gritty. So my legs are like a little bit sore obviously partly because I train legs and partly because I'm just walking around aimlessly but I am actually heading to a place called Kettlebell Kitchen which is the last place I want to try before I leave. I am not hungry Great, but I don't want to leave without trying it properly. I've been there before but only for a little snack. It's actually really hot. I know it looks really cloudy but it is boiling hot so I'm gonna hopefully try and grab something that's easy to take on the go and maybe take it on the train. Hopefully that will then round up the day in Manchester. I don't want to really be out too late because I'm in work for the next two days so yeah it's been nice. I feel like Manchester's got a lot of culture and a lot to do and a lot to see in sense of like oh yeah look at the graffiti on the wall kind of thing like it's very cultural the buildings are beautiful but then again there's not that much to see like there's not that many like landmarks if that's the word like scenery and you're just kind of walking around but I don't feel like I'm in a place far away enough to explore the other thing that I wanted to say was that Federal Cafe was one of the nicest places that I've ever actually been to before the flavor and everything was absolutely phenomenal like I highly recommend that place the menu is incredible as well so yeah if you're ever in Manchester make sure you try that out.
kettlebell kitchen i was looking at the menu and everything looked amazing but i am so full up from that shake like i genuinely know that i wouldn't enjoy anything that i get so i'm not going to get anything just for the sake of getting something so the thing that i did get for the train ride home was this protein chocolate superfood brownie which is vegan if you're interested in vegan stuff Hey guys, I just got home. I apologize for like the really weird angle and I've just literally had to put some shorts on. I have got shorts on um, because I am just absolutely sweltering hot. Like I'm literally so, so, so hot. We did so far 17,000 steps. I didn't feel like I was walking that much, but apparently I was. And now I'm just gonna quickly try this brownie for you guys because I was gonna eat on the train, but it was really packed. And then I've also got a couple of deliveries that I wanna show you. Let's try this thing. It's like delicious, but it's actually better than I thought. It doesn't taste healthy. It tastes quite like, it's really soft, gooey, chocolatey. It is delicious. There's five ingredients, and I always find that it is much better for you if you choose foods that are minimal ingredients and not all this like rubbish that you don't need, your body doesn't really want or doesn't respond well to. The only thing that puts me off these kind of things is when they say like protein brownie, because there's only 4.7 grams of protein. Now, for a brownie i guess that's high protein but in reality this is more a healthy fat brownie for example coconut oil chia seeds coconut flour so yeah of course it's a superfood brownie but i definitely don't think it should be advertised as a protein brownie healthy fats are really important and chia seeds are obviously really good for you but it's probably like a eight out of ten on the scale so yeah i'm going to show you guys the parcels that i got but quickly wanted to show you guys what i got in holland and barrett whilst I was in Manchester so I picked up the healthy magazine that I normally get. I also picked up these snacks then I picked up the Thai sweet chili chickpeas which I really like they're only 88 calories a pack I've never tried this flavor and it was two for two pounds. So we have the goods in here first of all we have a coconut chocolate chip Cliff Bar, good if you want a high calorie dense snack. If you're not hungry, but you need to get the calories in. Next we have Good Bar. Next we have the organic roasted soya with tomato and herb, the gluten free, like 130 calories, not too bad for a little snack. I keep meaning to kind of order more savory snacks because I do rely on like sweet snacks a lot. Now we have some raw energy bars and then I ordered two of the Squirrel Sisters Coconut Cashew. These are just basically like little raw energy bites. Then I got some of these raw organic spirulina orange balls, which are normally quite expensive. So when they are reduced, I do pick them up because they are tasty and they are good for like pre-workout or little snacks to take to work. I got the Full Fill Lemon Zinger. I've never tried this flavor because I've never fancied it like i've never wanted to pay full price for this flavor particularly like a fruity flavor because i'm not that keen i got a trek bar which i've not had for ages but these are actually like my favorite things particularly with the amount of protein that is in one bar then i ordered the rhubarb and custard naked bar i've not had a naked bar for such a while but they are really good then i ordered a perkier bar <laughs> I got Primal Pantry Cocoa Brown Brownie. Cocoa Brownie Protein, 15 grams of protein. I love these. I went back to the olden days and ordered a Quest Bar. I've not ordered these for a long time. They are a bit dry, they are a bit chewy, but they are also pretty filling for a protein bar. So I do have them occasionally. And then last but not least, getting something like this is what people who are preparing for a competition would do. I do like lately having egg white sweet omelets and I do think that this would be pretty nice. Obviously, zero calories. I'll just be having this in moderation. I will have maple syrup, but this is good if I just wanna not use up calories on sauces and just have something that is zero calories. 